Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide and today I'm going to show you how to solve the weekly challenges and earn up to 110 free atoms. Let's go! Hey everyone, so new week, new challenges for everyone and we have a bunch of easy ones to do this week. You can earn up to 110 atoms. And as usual, all you have to do is claim a workshop, then kill different types of robots, kill some legendaries and take shots of players in different circumstances. Also, I will show you how to get the weekly weapon from the survival mode. But as a first point, let's check the workshop. As typically of every week, we have to claim a different workshop. This time is Red Rocket. And all you have to do is clear the enemies around the workshop and claim it. So this workshop doesn't have a fast travel point, but it's very close to my camp. So all I have to do is walk there slowly, but you can head to the pumpkin house. It's not so far off and then proceed to kill everything that the submission requires you to before you can attempt to claim the workshop. Once you're done, all you have to do is wait for the procedure to finish and there you go. 30 atoms are yours. It's pretty straightforward, there is no science here. Now let's proceed to kill some legendary enemies while wearing a formal wear. But there is a trick here, it can't be just any legendary, it has to be at least one star or higher, otherwise it will not count. I tested it several times and I came across many normal legendary enemies here at the White Spring houses and golf club. It's important to come to places where you normally find legendary enemies with at least one star and the golf club is not a very rich place for this type of legendary, at least in my experience. So first of all, don't forget to equip a formal wear outfit such as the red dress and then obviously proceed to locations that often spawn legendaries with one to three stars. Now I found my very first one here at the White Spring houses as you can see. And then I found another one right after the housing area here to the right side. It was a three star, I'm very lucky. And then I decided to head to another location because this was my third server jump. I didn't really find uh, legendaries with stars in my other two runs. So I went to West Tech because normally you can find legendaries that have stars in this place, whether you look outside or inside the facility. So I went ahead and searched the inside area. And as usual, I found a three star right away. He was in this corner. This was a very laggy server. This guy just appeared out of nowhere and killed me, but that's okay. I went back and I found yet another legendary in the middle room, this command room right here. He was again lurking in the corner, but that was my fourth legendary with three stars that counted. And finally, I decided to head to the Burrows because I often find legendaries with stars in here and I found this one very quickly. Just one star, but that's all I needed to finish the challenge. And that's how you get another 30 free atoms. Taking pictures of different types of robots is worth 20 atoms this week. So you can check the list of the robots. They are basically all the types you can find in game. Head to the Watoga Emergency Services where you can find a Protectron and an iBot most of the time. Take a picture of them both and they should count. Don't forget to get their names showing in the right corner. 
Also, if you don't know how to get your functional camera or tons of camera film, feel free to check my guides. I'm posting the links up there. Then it's time to head to the south of the Watauga Estates, where you can normally find two assault drones patrolling this wall area right here. Just kill one or take a picture from afar, whatever you prefer. One more to the list. Then I went to the Watauga Shopping Plaza because you can generally find a Mr. Something here. In this case, it was a Mr. Handy. Sometimes it's a Mr. Gutsy. It's not as common though. I took a picture and that's time to move. For the robot brain, you can simply go to Biv and take a picture of him, or you can go to the Dire Chemical, where you can often find one or several inside the facility. So here at the first one from the fast travel spot, I generally find him here. It's very quick, it just costs some caps to come here, but that's about it. For the sentry bot, it's very easy. Head to the White Spring Resort and right at the spawning area, you can often see the sentry patrolling this garden. Just look around for him and he will be there. Unless some other player has killed it, then you should server jump to find another one. Liberators spawn very randomly, but near Vault 76 there is a fixed spot that I always remember when it comes to this sort of challenge. So it's right here to the right side of Vault 76, and you will often find around 5 Liberators. Just take a picture and move along. For the Vertibot, you should go to the Grafton Steel to take the workshop, or you can also take the Ammunition Workshop at the very north of the map. Why? Because they have some sort of airport where you can repair, and once you do that, a Vertibot will spawn, which is very handy because we really need one alive to take a picture. Now, there is a fallen one, for example, in Watauga, but it doesn't count. Make sure to find one in the world or just go to one of these two workshops, repair the landing pad and then take a picture of the vertibot once it is spawned. You might need to go very close to it to make it show in your screen and register. Last but not the least, we need a picture of a turret. If you were at West Tech, for example, for the legendary challenge, then you might want to take a picture there. Otherwise, I do it in my camp. I have turrets already. But if you don't, feel free to create a cheap one and then take a picture. That should be easy to do. And with this one, we conclude the robot challenge and it's another 20 free atoms for you. In this last challenge for atoms, you basically have to take camera pictures of players doing something or being in specific places. Now, I found this one being super easy to do because you can get a shot and basically accomplish like three things at once. The first one I did was coming here to Vault 76 to take a picture of a low level player. I spotted two there, so I came here, I took a picture of him and two points counted. Now, because he's under level 10 and second because it was at Vault 76. Then I went to my friend here at his workshop and I also took a picture and my luck, he was actually intoxicated. So yeah. I got three points from him, one for the workshop, two for his level, and third because he drank something. Voila! Then I went to the White Spring because I saw a few players farming the legendary brute. I followed this guy, he was inside a power suit, great for me. I took a picture and another three points registered for me, one for his super high level, another for being here at the White Springs, and another because he was inside a power suit. Hmm, a great stuff. For the final point or submission, I went to another friend's camp and I simply took a picture of him inside the camp, which is one of the lines of the challenge. And that's pretty much it. Another 30 atoms are here for me. And that's pretty nice. I hope you enjoy it too. 
As an extra, I'm going to show you how to get the Unstoppable Monster, which is the survival mode weapon for this week. You only have to do a few steps to get it, and one of them I have already done, which is kill a human-like creature like a ghoul or a scorched. Then I went here to the White Spring entrance to get a critter, which can be a rabbit. And there is like two or three around this area. But before you go ahead and kill the rabbit, don't forget you must be starving for this point to be completed. Now you might want to kill another one or pick up the meat from the rabbit you just killed. I went ahead and killed a squirrel, got his meat and then ate it because it's part of another point which is now completed. Now you have to go to a cooking station, so I went back to my camp and first drank something that I had in my inventory, just some wine, whiskey, anything will do, then proceed to cook something, anything you have in your inventory really, and you will be done with this one as well. The last point is to claim any workshop in survival mode, and I went for this one, which by coincidence is also the one that you need for the weekly challenges. I was not aware of it when I first did the normal challenge to capture the Mega Stop workshop. So now that you know about it, I advise you to do both at once to save time and resources. And there you go, the Unstoppable Monster is here in my inventory and I will show you the stats so you can have a full preview of this melee weapon. It's decent, it's quite decent, but it doesn't have attack speed, so i rather use my own weapons for the time being. Anyway, there is one more challenge to do, which is craft different types of alcoholic beverages, and it's too much work to do for just 40 atoms in my opinion, Plus, I don't even have all the recipes, so I never do this challenge. But if you have the chance to do, then go ahead and get the free items. Alright, that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you found this guide useful. If you were stuck in any of the weekly challenges, then I hope you can find your answer here, or at least get a pad to make things a little bit easier to finish five out of the six weekly challenges and earn up to 110 atoms. Nevertheless, that's going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Marta Branco. As usual, if you are new to the channel and you like this guide, then don't forget to subscribe. It helps me a lot to grow. Also, if you would like to go one step further, feel free to check my Patreon page as well. Thank you everyone for the support. You guys are amazing and I will see you very soon in the next video. Adios. Bye bye.